With a footprint of 193 inches, it's a little more than a foot longer, which translates into something drivers and passengers appreciate, more interior space. Surprisingly, it's only an inch wider than the 3 Series, so that means more shoulder and leg room for front and rear passengers. The 2011 528i, which is the entry-level model in the series, also comes with an improved iDrive control knob in the center console. The previous configuration may have been engineered for a generation of drivers who are familiar with the computer mouse, but required too many steps to do simple things. The new version streamlines the process of routine functions like changing the radio station. The 5 Series also shares the design DNA with its smaller sibling and our powertrain at at least the entry level. The test car came with a 3 liter straight 6, rated at 230 horsepower and 200 foot-pounds of torque. But even though it's bigger, it gets better fuel economy. A big part of that is the 8-speed automatic transmission, which allows the car to operate at peak efficiency. We liked how it delivered plenty of power across the torque band. With a slightly larger tank than the 3 Series, it also extends the range by nearly 100 miles. Besides size, the obvious difference is in the ride and handling. The test car was responsive and didn't require too much effort to control it, especially under aggressive driving conditions. Overall, for a long trip or even a daily commute, we prefer the 5 Series. It may be worth the extra cost in the long run. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.